just didn't hear it. Oh, there we go. We got so many things. Oh, my God. It, it changed. Oh, God. How much of that did you hear? None of it. Yeah, I know. No. Okay, so to catch you up. We're not ready. We have no idea. But we're here. Okay, and when we say we, <laughs> we mean me. <laughs> Let's get that straight. I mean, if I helped, maybe we could be more ready. But we'd need two ma two mice, two mouses, two mice, two mice for that. And uh, I'm, let me adjust. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm adjusting oh the the color a little bit. Glad I wasn't watching that. <laughs> because for some, there's the problem. I found the problem. Okay. Oh. Okay. It? We can put this back, and something got flipped over to automatic. That should never be automatic. And so there we go. Colors are closer. The only thing I don't like about that light up there is I have a weird that or, or where, where, a weird shadow on my face. Oh, I'm gonna judge it. Yeah, but they will. Oh yeah, they're harsh. It's true. Stop judging people. Stop. Good grief. It's not nice. Sorry, give me a. Uh, let's just do the whole thing in black and white. That was. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> she she was a dame to podcast for. I'm sorry. We'll go back into color. Now we're stuck somewhere in the 60s, and okay, I'm going to stop screwing with this right. Not yet. Now. Okay. No color. Working on it. Well, I thought you stopped messing rosy, with it. Rosy cheeks, a blue background. Is that okay with you? Sure. <laughs> Welcome to the to the Calvacade of Colors. <laughs> we hope you're on acid. <laughs> That's right. This is for our Patreons that are acid enthusiasts. That are dropping acid tonight. Yep. So there we go. Oh, good. Yeah. There yeah. we go. Hey, hey, DJ Ray. It's good to see you, DJ Ray. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> that uh, was a bit of a train wreck. But I, that's it, that's live. I'm a little out of practice. Yeah. Anyway, it was partially my fault. I could have not mentioned the color right <laughs> no. like two seconds before our video ended. honestly honestly uh the problem that we have with the cameras i think that's just a setting that somehow came back and was tweaking with colors so you were absolutely right in pointing it out because it, when you put things, something like that on automatic it'll start screwing with the colors on its own blah that's blah true. blah technical stuff how's everyone doing tonight <laughs> the uh the chat room was, uh, we had a little, I don't know, a bubble, internet bubble. It went uh, it, it went a little wonky on us just before we got started. Mm -hmm. So I hope everybody's there. If you have any trouble at all, if we drop out, uh, let me know. Uh, this is different than what we used to do. First of all, we're in our own chairs. How about that? I have chairs with huge arms, so there's a big gap here between us. But, mm -hmm. you know, you do what you can. And uh, we're also going out at 1080p, so we're going out in Ooh. high definition. Man, I'm glad to put on makeup. <laughs> we used to only go out in 720, and I figured, let's see what happens. Let's do it. Right on. So uh, we're a new show. We we did we changed things up. We took yeah. what four, three, four weeks. Yeah. It's been since we've done a live show, and uh, I miss the live shows, but. I am working ten times harder on doing these pre-recorded shows than we I ever worked on the live show. But and so I think we're but I think we're putting out good stuff. That's that's the thing. And we're also streamlining. Absolutely. We are, we are with each new episode. We kind of, well you. <laughs> say no me. no no. Um, I appreciate your. <laughs> I don't look good here, and then I I'll I'll, I'll, I'll tweak it. In. <laughs> but there's you know there's slightly less equipment. Slightly less uh, me screwing up. <laughs> I was trying to think of the word for setting things up. No, the, the, we've streamlined the setup. We've streamlined the process of getting to the interviews thing because the we bless Cliff. <laughs> what a guy! He was our guinea pig. He was guinea pig. We set up in uh, Bailey's apartment. Everything went okay. I mean, there were the. The the audio was still we didn't have the right audio gear yeah. at the time, but the only way to learn that was to do it, and so the the audio was a little hot. I'm pretty happy with what what I came out with because yeah, for sure. what what you hear on the Cliff Andrews recording are three different audio sources, and I had to sync them 
over and over again because it turns out iPhones are not the best way to record audio. But it it was better than nothing. It actually mm-hmm. added a little lift that it that it needed, but every half hour the iPhone did something that knocked it out of sync. So yeah. so every half hour it sounds good and then echo, echo, echo so where odd. where it slipped out and had to fix it, but no. Yeah. Nobody cares. But it was about nice because Cliff's stuff. a very chill guy. We were he just was. sitting there drinking beer. Oh, my point um, was we had that whole table yeah. of stuff. I mean, it was a, it was a little table, yeah. but we had a laptop over here, and we had uh, a couple of microphones yeah. and recorders and cameras on a little table. And my apartment did legit look like <laughs> someone had come, like a, a a camera crew had come, and yeah. just sit, like you couldn't walk anywhere really. Yeah, ca- I had cables, cables strewn everywhere. everywhere. I had a lamp in there that wasn't usually in there yeah. to give us more light. Um, I had a tripod set up with the the Canon on it, which yeah. was over across the room, which was a little different than what we're used to, and it kept I kept getting in the way of it. And well, it, it, that was the first one. We just interviewed, and this hasn't this hasn't aired yet. We just interviewed uh, Terry Dosher down at uh, Willow Tree, and yes. we had four things on the table. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, um, I, I'm, I was real happy with it. I I need one more piece of equipment because I can further reduce it. But what I've got to get is a taller tripod. Yeah. So if I can get a taller tripod, we'll put our GoPro on it, and that GoPro will shoot you, me, and the guest. But right now we only have. All of our tripods are like this tall. Teeny tiny little baby tripods. <laughs> so uh, you'll see a lot of interviews here for a while of us sitting down at a table and it's me and Bailey <laughs> and the person. Excuse me. Oh, another one? Nope. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> uh, it, me and Bailey and then we cut back to the person we we're interviewing. That's just by necessity right now. I don't, I'm not crazy about it, but. Although it is better than squishing up next to people. Absolutely. Which is what we were doing before. Absolutely. Which, no offense to them. It's just very odd. Like, oh, I don't know you very well, but hi. <laughs> right. We're very close now. What a great way to get a, an in-depth interview, though. That's true. That's true. And, and like when we were talking to Kat down at um, Johnson City Brewing, the, those chairs fit exactly into that space. So there is no room no. for anything but chairs. So we're all on a bench or sitting next to each other. And but. even I, I remember doing that. This was true of Eric Latham's uh, interview, too, is that you know, getting out or getting in before the interview and getting out right. after the interview was sort of a to do. That's right. Well, everyone had to stand. One person had to slide a chair <laughs> carefully to not to get pinched. And then yep. whoever had to get out had to then, someone had to yield and yep. one would... person could not move. <laughs> it's a good thing one of us of, of in those groups, I guess we're with Cat too, is we're small. Yeah. So we can sort of. Yeah, one day it's going to be me and a couple other big guys. And you're not even going to see Bailey. No. Actually, yeah, can we interview like a football team? Yeah, I, I don't. I go. hate football, but I love the idea of just right. me. Right, just a bunch like, of, of huge guys. Yeah, and, and, me just and being little. Your head. Like, <laughs> you just barely see it. Question. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to find Bailey, no problem, because everybody get out of her way. Damn right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But uh, who else we got in the chat room? Just just DJ Ray right now? Well, second quieter party. Well, that's okay. I don't want to call anyone out, even though you're lurking. True. That's all right. But, uh, you know, we told, uh, we told the Patreons that uh, if we reached a certain level, uh, we, would do a, we would do a live show a month. I mean, we're going to do one anyhow. Yeah. But uh, we thought this was a good time to thank them for their support. Mm-hmm. Uh, Patreon really... Is it's paying the bills yeah. a little bit, yeah, and it's it's making a lot of this possible. And I mean, we 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 broke even, right? We're yeah, breaking even. Yeah, now? we're we have broken even in the fact that per month, yeah, and let, let's just say that we're, we haven't purchased any equipment to yeah. upgrade. Uh, per month, uh, our bills are being paid. I mean, yeah, the we're doing the we can continue the audio audio mm-hmm. podcast, no problem. Nice. We can uh, we can pay any of the bandwidth bills that we got so far, so mm-hmm. we're good right now. Uh, I'd like to do better because, you know me, <laughs> we've gotten a taste now of what a little bit of equipment <laughs> can do, and if we can get a little bit more, uh, and I I tend to 
I'm throwing in money all the time. I'm like, well, you know, okay, the Patreon is kind of reimbursing me. Who needs that when we can get more stuff? <laughs> and so I bought a, a bunch of accessories mm -hmm. for the GoPro. Uh, I'm going to get some light panels. Uh, they're, they're like this little light that we have here. You can't see it. Um, uh, it's just a, a light panel. It's made with mm -hmm. special LEDs balanced out to, to look good. The little light we have is not only is it like a floodlight, yeah. That burns your retinas out. Uh, it's terribly blue. It the mm -hmm. light the light just turns blue, and it's just such a nightmare. I can't match it with anything with any other light. So we're gonna get some light panels on some stands, and that way, whenever we do a an interview, it's like boom. There's there's our light. I wonder if there's a place to go to buy old equipment off of failed YouTube bit <laughs> YouTube channels. You know there is because right now there 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 aren't many successful yeah. YouTube channels. Because we could just pick up a light. One yeah. of those ring lights. And oh, I wish I could, if I could head to New York City, I know exactly the place where all they do is deal in exactly that. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, old, not even old, but just gently used uh, production equipment. But kind of have to go there and, and look at it. It's not yeah. something I would buy on the internet. Yeah. Not not used anyhow. But, the, but luckily, the lights I'm looking at are not expensive. Oh, cool. Yeah, I mean, it's... <laughs> that, I was just looking around on Amazon one day, and I'm like, "Holy crap! I could just not eat a nice dinner one one week, and Get that'll it. pay for it." I mean, it's uh, you know, a nice dinner for two, <laughs> <laughs> but still. But it's, it's you know, I, I eat out a lot, mm -hmm. so I've been uh, eating in just to just to get more stuff because. I, I I truly believe in what we're doing. I think we got some good stuff, and we've got more people coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll reveal some of the. Some of the people we have currently booked, yeah, that are that are coming up, but we'll we'll do that a little bit. So many things. Uh, what about a DJ Ray? Have you watched any of the new format? What do you think? Really, we wanted to we want to talk to people and find out what you think of the new format. Mm -hmm. DJ Ray likes to he likes to talk. He likes to watch. Lark. Yeah. <laughs> right. Some of the some of the things that. Are coming down the road. In fact, uh, if you watched the second part of this Joseph interview that's up this week, had an idea for a new kind of. Uh, it's kind of a mixed live and internet forum, which I think would be cool. I, the more I think about it, the more I, the more I like the idea, and the more I think we could get some more equipment out of it <laughs> <laughs> if we if we play our cards right. It's if we, if we do it right. Uh, we can we can get that because the only reason I want the equipment is to keep making it better because I know what it needs to look like. Yeah, I know it's not there yet, but we're we're working on it. We'll we'll get there. Hmm. That's all right. Hey, Jay Ray. What are we at? We're getting into uh, festival season. Corazon Latino this weekend. Oh, that's this weekend. I'm pretty sure that's this weekend. I'll do some snooping. Yeah, the uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe go down there. It's Friday night. So I think it's only night. the one night. Oh God, it's Thursday. <laughs> it's been such a long week. Yeah. Oh my gosh. What is it? Yeah. What, uh, Corazon. Corazon Latino. Latino. One of my favorite festivals in Johnson City. They. Um, okay, let let's cut to the chase. I love the food. Oh my gosh. Uh, the the whole street they used to have a whole street of food. I don't know yeah. how it's going to work out this year. Well, but the the street food is amazing. Yeah, the dancing's amazing. The dancing is amazing. I had I I got pulled oh. into the dance the first year I went. Yeah, you're right. It's at Founders Park this year. Oh, it's at Founders Park. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. It, it's always been on uh, Main Street. Yeah, because this. it's always been like the first. You know, it's always been a part of First Friday. Yeah, it's usually not a festival in and of itself. Right. Um. I'm trying to see if there's any information other than uh, April 6th, 4 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. at Founders Park. Uh, live music, art, dance, food. All the information. Right on. <laughs> um, yeah. I'll probably grab one of, the, one of the cameras. I just, I love evening light. I just mm -hmm. love that uh, sunset, and it's really the only time I have to shoot yeah. during the weekdays. So I, I think I can get some really fun stuff. I'm going to take the Canon, that, which is our colorful uh, little camera with the zoom, and uh what I can do. I'm trying to look up the new festival we're getting. 
Oh, that that outdoors festival. Yeah, uh, and I'm trying to remember the name. On the tip of my tongue. Uh, I added it on Instagram. And I'm I'm really kind of curious about that. I I don't understand it. I think is oh is, is the thing. I mean I mean it's an outdoor festival about being in the outdoors. And you are outdoors, right? Which I get it. But is it going to be an exhibition of different uh, companies? Is it going to be? Well, I think a major part of it is it's actually scattered around East Tennessee. Is there like events? Oh, okay. Like, I think hiking events, stuff like that, around the area, and then they may. I think there is going to be. It's going to be based in job, downtown Johnson City. I see. Um, that was my impression, but that's why I was trying to look for it because I don't even know what it is. Uh, the mountain. That sounds right. Just how often. Yeah, it's one of those things you never. No, um, yeah. As if we're talking about festivals, that's obviously. Yeah, and it, and it's important. It's worth taking a minute here when and, is, and looking it see. up. When is Little Chicago? Little Chicago is usually in June. Yeah, because the first weekend of June is Blue Plum. Oh, okay. So it's not going to be in June. I'm I'm wrong. Well, one year it was. It was like two weeks later. No, August 10th through 11th. Okay. is Little Chicago. I was going to look on my. A schedule for that schedule for that one. Uh. Oh, that does remind me of something I should mention here in a bit. Outdoor Johnson City Festival, nothing. Look up mountain. Mountain. Don't put festival. Fest no festival. No. Nope. Just put mountain, <laughs> or just put festival. Because if you look, so you added them on your. They're on. They're on my Instagram because I remembered. I show right. you a trick. You kids and your and your fancy networking things. Are you following them? Yes. Oh well, look at that. Blue Plum, Bristol Craft Beer Festival, Little Chicago Festival. Uh -huh. uh, Outdoor. I swear I I follow him. I just we could be thinking of the wrong name. Like maybe it's something totally unrelated. Like, but you'd think it would be a little easier to find if it's going to be a big a big festival. But uh, we'll keep we'll oh. keep looking. Watch. Um, in fact, I I shared at one point on hometowns Facebook page. And actually, I have another festival that I need to look up. Welcome to us looking at our phones. Yeah. It, we did no, no preparation. It, yeah, absolutely <laughs> none. Um, let's say, yeah, well, part of the problem is uh, it's spring, which means I'm in work mode. And then what happens is I work and I work and work and work until the sun goes down. And then I remember there's other things I need to be doing, I like preparing it. for the show. No, no, I get it. I've I've been completely swamped myself lately. Small business festival is coming here. Um it, to Tri Cities I'm trying to see when. Um it's part of or is the festival that was based in Austin, Texas. Oh. And we lured it here. Oh is neat. how it's been told to me. Uh can't say that with one hundred percent confidence. <laughs> We we did get a little information. If you watched our uh, Joseph Rosh uh, video, uh, he talked about a new festival he wants to bring to town, which which will be another African American festival, mm -hmm. which will have kind of its own flavor. There's no this has not been planned. This has not been booked. This is not anything like that. It's kind of a wish list uh, item. But but he seemed very very interested in it. I think that would be kind of awesome remember that <laughs> yeah yeah he, he he talked about it uh uh also in uh relation to uh, uh midtown mecca uh, and how they were going to be supporting it it basically was going to kind of be in their parking lot is how i was understanding it but it hasn't happened it's on the video i know i'm trying to figure out how 
I must have blacked out. <laughs> um, small Business Festival is May 1st through 5th. And, of course, it's for small business and entrepreneurs. But if you're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur or if you have a small business, I suggest you go. I want people to just give me their money. Is there a festival for that? Um, yeah, but you have to get undressed. <laughs> oh, never again, I say. Okay, never again, they said. Hey, actually, show up undressed. And then get paid to put your clothes ah, back on. Now we're talking uh, my skill set. We can do this. Yeah, I've just tried to look it up through some side, sideways searching here. Oh, are you looking for the downtown uh, JC, the outdoor fest? But oh yeah, yeah, that's bizarre. That it's, it's not. It really is difficult to find. So, uh, if you know anything about it, uh, leave it in the comments. Please tell us more. We want to know more. Uh, it's intriguing that it's supposed to be a major, a large festival. It's probably just too early to really uh, do the marketing push on it. Well, no, yet. they've been marketing it. Because I've been getting ads on mm. Facebook for it. Let's just ask Facebook. And we'll come back to it. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a good plan. Whoa. Edited me. Ooh, I wonder if the podcast listeners like the typing noise. Oh, yeah, this is... Here, here's your typing for the day. I can type louder. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, they mainly are just listening to me uh, fixing typos. Oh, I see. Yes. There, we'll let, that, we'll let that stew just a little bit on Facebook mm -hmm. and see if we'll somebody come comes back. back to us. Yeah. So yeah, it is festival season. We have what, like four or five festivals by August. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Little Chicago's coming back again this year. Yeah. Uh, Blue Plum is always. Oh, Blue Plum. I'm guessing the biker's going to come back for the biker rally. I did not think so because oh, I yeah? thought that was just like a tour, like one, like it was a Geico tour. But oh, I thought it was... so it's one that that kind of rotates through different cities. Yeah, I would assume so. Oh, okay, that could be. Um, that could be. But I could be wrong. I. Uh... There's Umoja coming. Umoja? Always, always. always a good time. Um, so how many have we named? Like four already? Three? I think that was three or four. Uh, do they still do the Folk Festival? I've never even heard of the Folk Festival. No, that's probably... That's probably <laughs> a, it went really bad. Let's, you, want a, you want a quick story time? Sure. So Johnson City was going to have the, the first Folk Festival, I don't know, maybe eight, ten years ago. And, uh, you know, the warehouses, uh, if you... If you're downtown, uh, you're coming from uh, North Roan heading south on, on Roan Street. You're going to cross uh, Main Street. You're going to cross Data uh, Franklin and uh, where the old railroad tracks was. You're going to go up the hill a little bit. And there's a warehouse right up there across from where L&S Electronics used oh, yeah, to be. Yeah. They uh, repurposed that warehouse and they fixed it up and they were going to have the first folk festival was going to be in this place. Now, you don't remember it. There's a reason for that. Well, I... What's the time line about, about here? eight ten years ago okay it's it's been a while and okay. and a lot of prominent people in town uh were organizers mm -hmm. and they they raised a lot of money and they had sponsors and they had a lot of national acts mm -hmm. mixed in with a bunch of just traveling folks from the region and uh they were all set to go two days before the fire marshal shut the whole building down. It had no sprinklers it had none of this turns out. No one had at any point contacted the fire marshal. No one at any point had said, can you come inspect this for our festival? It's our own fire festival. Now, Debacle. I've worked a lot of events in town. And the first thing, and I work with, I actually work with a fire mm -hmm. troop who I bring to town occasionally. And the first thing I can tell you, any time that there's going to be a lot of people in a building, you call your friendly neighborhood fire marshal and go, hello, my friend. Come inspect my building and let's work together to see what we can figure out. Because they, a lot of times, will will let you do certain safety things or mm -hmm. reduce capacity to allow things to happen. They don't break; they will never break the rules, but they'll find ways to work with you to allow it to happen. They did not do this, and so not only did they get shut down, they got fined, and they ended up having it on short notice at a park. And I'm told everybody had a great time at the park. It really had that folksy kind mm -hmm. of displaced feeling to it yeah. and they came back a year and i don't think it i don't think it really caught on that's been a few years ago 
Well, if it was eight to ten years ago, I would have been in college. I used to go to all the festivals downtown, and I swear I'd yeah. never heard of it. Let's look it up. I, I was just looking at the, uh, I, can, I can maybe tell you when. I only asked because it came up on my search. Changed to, it changed to the Buffalo Valley Music Fest. But it's still, the website was John City Folk Fest. Last posting was in January. Well, go, go up. See when the latest, uh, three years ago is the last review. Okay. Or maybe two years ago. So the old, this one's four-year-old review. Let's see. I don't even know. It's still in Johnson City? Well, it looks like they changed the name, at least on the... Well, on I the, know, the, but... Here, it there's still an image says, here, guys, if you want to see it there. Oh, there. It still says, um, like down here, it says Johnson yeah, City. But, they're, uh, but I've never heard there. of it. There. You see that white screen? There would be all kinds of information on that. There you go. But again, it, I only came across it on this link, and that made yeah. me that that brought me back, and I was just wondering. I mean, it sounds like a festival I would be interested in. They've apparently been pretty active. Every couple of months, they they post something. Get your advertising right, so I can hear about it. Yeah. Here we go. May May 10th, 2017. Hey, hi, everyone. People are liking and talking about the John City Folk Festival and the Buffalo Valley Folk Festival two years later. So it was I was way off. It was 2015, I guess. It seems like so much longer ago. Here's what we need to bring it back to John City. The 100 Cher Cherry Street and $2.5 million line of credit to make it the premier event space that it can be and 100 hours pro bono legal assistance. Jesus, that's a lot of pro bono. I appreciate their candor and, and honesty. Well, I'm wrong. Uh... This is the episode where we just keep looking at our phone. Sure. Sure. But this that's is the, that's phone the episode. only way to get the information to you. <laughs> it's better. Actually, looking at our phones is a lot better than us trying to type it into the yeah. computer. Yeah, it seriously is. Um. Partially because it's faster. And it's it's less noisy. That's true. And there's less of us doing this. <laughs> right. But the, the point being, sorry, uh, as we did get a little on off subject, a lot of stuff's starting to happen. It's going to be uh, time for, hopefully, fingers crossed, grab some of this camera equipment, go out to the festivals, shoot some stuff on the scenes, talk to some people, uh, get some interviews just on the go. So hopefully, uh, I'd like to... A dream, and I don't know if I if I am capable of doing this. I'm telling you now, I have a lot of other things going on. I, I'd like to do like a little recap video every time there's a festival. You just go through and some highlights. I went to this, and I saw that band, and I met these people, and just a, a short little highlight episode, maybe half an hour long, of uh, cool stuff. Can it be done? Maybe. I, just, I just really don't know. I mean... If I had a fleet of videographers, maybe. But that's a <laughs> lot of stuff to cover. Basically, if you if you're gonna follow me at a at a festival, like <laughs> Little Chicago might be cool because I am on the run at Little Chicago. I, I host uh, the main stage, and and I also try to host the the roller derby going on on mm -hmm. Saturday. So I'm, hey, here's a band, gotta go. Hey, here's some roller derby, gotta go. And uh, it's kind of control chaos. And then I'm, I'm being caught at all times and people give me updated information, I got to say. And it's kind of cool. And then it's me drinking, like, I make the best mint uh, tea at uh, Dos Gatos. Me mm. sitting, drinking, sipping on tea. Like, mm. oh, crap. And then I'm up and I go again. And that's, mm -hmm. the, that's the way it works. So that's, that's the dream. We'll see what the reality is when it gets here because uh, a lot of times I'll pick up gigs and I'm not able to go to local festivals. Yeah. So, we'll see. Well, and I, I always count it, count, if I can get to half of the festival, that's right. about enough for me. I, even, I, maybe I, even less you. than that. <laughs> I'm with you. A lot of times, I'm like, oh, there's a festival downtown. Close the window so I can sleep. It, it just depends. I'm on my mood more than the festival. It has nothing to do with the quality of the festival. Well, to me, it's all, it's the same food trucks. Well, I mean, it may not be the exact same food trucks. It's all a lot of food trucks, a lot of carny food, which is good right. if I wanted to spend seven bucks for half a funnel cake. Um, 
the music is good, always good, but I don't, I know I'm probably going to catch flack with, for this. I don't love um, concerts. Like, I, I can tolerate them for about 20 minutes. A whole concert, if they're one of my favorite bands in the entire world. But right. even then, it is to me, it's just exhausting. I don't think there's anything wrong with so, that. I mean, if if it doesn't connect to you, yeah, how can you be expected to stay? Yeah. And and I, and I, we've talked about this in past episodes. Just actually, with when we talk to Terry, you'll see that mm-hmm. next week. Yeah, uh, this is Thursday, and then Tuesday we'll have an episode, uh, and then Terry will be next Thursday. Uh, I, I I love all kinds of music, but I can't go see all kinds of music. I have yeah. to go see the stuff I'm passionate about, and that's not the kind of music yeah. that is in the public spaces around mm-hmm. here. I like blues and harder rock, and yeah. I'm always going to be a metalhead. And that's not, they're not going to book any of that. Maybe some rock, so, some of the, you know, yacht rock. Um, Maybe some blues. I mean, the Billy Crawford band is local, and I I talk about them all the time. And and he's just amazing guitarist. But it's good old fashioned blues. Yeah. It's rock and blues, and it's a good time. But mm-hmm. he he tends to play around the periphery. He's uh, Bristol. He's really big in Bristol. Hmm. Not so much coming through Johnson City. It's just yeah, different tastes, different stuff. You know, yeah. you got to go with what most people want to see and. And as Rhythm and Roots proves, there's a certain kind of music that resonates because it's huge. And it's it's a great show. I've I've been to Rhythm and Roots. I've worked Rhythm and Roots yeah. shooting video. I did the live stream for Rhythm and Roots a couple of years. And uh And that's one I haven't been to. Oh, it's even if you don't even if you don't know a band there you, you like, mm-hmm. there are so many stages with mm-hmm. so many talented people. I always come away with a new favorite band. Yeah. It's always something that is just different and interesting to me and it's maybe not the one everybody's there to see yeah but that's the one for me and that that spawned off lots of these you know americana roots rock uh, singer songwriter mm-hmm. kind of uh, extravaganzas that we have throughout east tennessee now uh knoxville was really big even before i remember it coming to johnson city i, I would see lots of that and i was into it i was into yeah. it for a while not so much mm-hmm. anymore I'm right. trying to get Slayer tickets right now. That's that's where my heart's lying lately. Slayer Ghost tickets were seventy five to one hundred and fifty dollars mm-hmm. in uh, Asheville. That kind of stuff. No way. I know DJ Ray. You love Yacht Rock. What is Yacht Rock? Uh, Doobie Brothers. Uh, any, any my, anything with Michael McMahon in it. Uh, Don't know who that oh, is. Um, it's a nineteen seventies. Middle of the road rock. It's it's groovy. Is it kind of like it's not Jimmy Buffett? That's different. No, that that that's that's a different thing. Here we okay. go. I I can uh, show Cause, you because yacht rock sounds like it'd be Jimmy Buffett. It probably should be, but it's a little bit different. Let me uh, get let me get this stuff squared away here. Should have gone straight to uh, should have gone straight to YouTube for this. Of course, we'll just get taken off if I play something. Uh, if I play something copyrighted. Great, I'm copyrighted and don't know about it. Here we go. The top 10 Yacht Rock si- songs of all time, for, according to IGN. See, DJ Ray. Oh, perfect example. England Dan and John Ford Coley's I'd Really Love to See You Tonight. Uh... You're not gonna recognize any of this. T- no, baby, so far, baby, no, no, come no. back. Nah, 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 nah. Kenny Loggins, this is it. We listened to John Denver. I told up. you, Michael McDonald is essential to yacht rock. Yeah, okay. Let's maybe maybe a few more. Uh, let's see. Uh, Toto, Rosanna. I only know Africa. <laughs> Like every good millennial. Kiss on my list, Dar- Daryl Hall and John Oates. No? I don't know any of these. Oh, gosh. I'm going to have to make you a playlist. I'll make you a mix. <laughs> I'll make don't. you a mixtape, Bailey. <laughs> I'll make you my Yacht Rock <laughs> mixtape. Doobie Brothers. That's more my- Michael McDaniel. Michael McMahon. Steely Dan. Hey, 19. No? Christopher Cross. It's not Hey, Laura. It's Sailing. 
take you away. No. Oh, I think I do know ah, that one. The number one one. Sail away, sail away. No, that oh. would be in you. That would be in you. That's all right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go off somewhere quiet and cry. <laughs> DJ Ray, look what you did. <laughs> DJ Ray's cheering us on. Nope. <laughs> I wish I could play these DJ Ray, but uh, but we can tell people to go play them. Yeah. Because oh. I won't. Yeah, I I don't even listen to that stuff. That's I, I would like to say it's dad music, but it seemed like I was music. I was like ten when it came out, so. Uh, well, my, dad my dad music didn't is... listen to it. Oh. Yeah, so, my dad listened to rock and roll. I grew up. You mean like Elvis rock and yeah, roll? Yeah, my dad was was older, and when I was a little kid, like five and six, the only music I was exposed to was his forty five collection, which was in a shoe, a Wolverine shoebox, and it was all nineteen fifties uh, rock and roll: Elvis, Fats Domino, uh, 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 oh my god, <laughs> uh, Jerry Lee Lewis, all of all of the greats. Jerry Lee I, Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis. He was he was the uh, right. Now you got me. You mean myself. just Jerry Lewis? No, I do not mean just Jerry Lewis. Oh, okay. I meant the 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 Fireball. Uh, Jerry Lee Lewis. He played a uh, whole lot of shaking going on. Hmm. Oh boy. Again, I can't play music, so this yeah. makes this really difficult. Well, and what's crazy is that I think I Great think you know fire. this. I thought that was Elvis. No, that was Jerry. That was Jerry. Oh. Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, well, see, I grew up having a really extensive music education. My dad is a musician. Right. Um, but for some reason, Yacht Rock, never nope. part of it. No. Nope. Huh. And uh, Jerry Lee Lewis wasn't a part of it. <laughs> Everyone else was. <laughs> you were. You were probably educated in the finer things. I mean, I'm not saying that. I'm, but you're saying it. I'm just saying. I, I, I recognize the symptoms. <laughs> Thanks, DJ Ray. He was trying to scream great balls of fire at me when my brain was just... Yeah. But uh, I was I was in middle school before I started listening to pop music, and then I listened to country music radio because it sounded closer to mm -hmm. the rock and roll that I'd listened to than anything. And then someone gave me an Iron Maiden album, and that was the rest was history. Yep. That left me here. Nail in the coffin. Well, anyhow, uh, we want to just get a little feedback. Uh, we appreciate you showing up, D DJ Ray. Uh, one more time, DJ Ray, did you did you like the format of the new recorded stuff, or have you just been waiting for us to go live again? We accept all answers. I know the answer to this. <laughs> doop, doop. I started singing the the Jeopardy song, or the, but then I thought better not. Are you Just right. in case. I, you, you never know. You never know. Uh, YouTube's always listening. And um, Well, while we're waiting for DJ Ray, I recently discovered a, a awesome band. I was about to say new, but they're not new. Um, Auto Heart. They're an indie pop band. Yeah. And they've got really interesting melodies um, oh, that cool. are super catchy. I mean, yeah. like, not catchy in, like, a Taylor Swift way, but, like, in a... This is somehow making my heart explode yeah. kind of way. That's awesome. It's one word, auto heart. Like auto, like a German car. I'm trying to think if I've... Oh, DJ Ray likes a little of both. Thank you, DJ Ray. Or he says a little both in that... <laughs> oh, I see. You read him correctly. <laughs> I, I speak DJ Ray. <laughs> well, that, thank you, DJ Ray. We appreciate the feedback. Uh, I, like, I like a little of both myself. We're we're gonna keep doing live mm -hmm. uh, stuff about once a month, and uh, go back and talk about the things we've done, ask any questions, and then we'll do Tuesday's episode will be next, and uh, that's gonna be more like the general stuff. We'll. Yep. Oh, in but fact, we... I may I'm, I may bring up something a little controversial. Oh. Yeah, considering the format, but that'll be next episode. That'll be on Tuesday. So. On Tuesday. So stick around. And, stick, uh, stick around for 10 minutes so you can watch right. the Tuesday episode. If you're watching live, you'll see it now. If not, you'll yes. see it Tuesday. That's right. <laughs> see how that works. You should join us live next week. That's Get right. It all at once. That's right. And uh, we're, we're going to do a Patreon only live at some point, but uh, the Patreon showed up. <laughs> well, so, we don't know that. Oh, that's true. It could be that a Patreon showed up. 
but uh if they we, we'll we'll talk to the, I'll talk to the patreons we'll find a time that that people will be there because I don't want to do a patreon only show and it's no just me and you that would be that'd yeah. be sad I mean we would just watch cartoons so or something okay I would just watch cartoons Bailey would be something very intellectual maybe <laughs> <laughs> or I'd go buy 10 things of Pringles and eat them oh, all that in one sounds sitting so good you got me hungry for now, snacks now before the show I was talking about how I was craving Pringles oh uh, man sorry getting dried out so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up uh thanks for supporting the show thanks for uh hanging out with us uh the folks that have dropped in and out uh of this episode uh if you're watching live we're gonna go away for just a minute go ahead and close out your browser and come back in about uh once we once we shut it up shut it down come back in about 10 minutes and uh, we'll be back it takes it takes this to clear out your browser so we can do do them back to back otherwise when you try to reload it it'll just look it, it won't load it right it'll just keep playing a loop of the last episode so we'll be back in, in just a, a few minutes if yeah. you're watching live if not we will see you on tuesday mm -hmm. and now for the usual things that i remind you of uh you can sign up for patreon to support the show every episode uh you'll uh, donate Whatever amount of money you want, uh, most people have chosen a dollar so far, but a dollar, two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, fifty dollars, whatever you want, whatever you can afford, just a little something to help us pay the bills to keep. I mean, um, let's face it, I'm overdoing this, <laughs> and I want to keep overdoing it, and we need that support. Uh, so at the end of the month, uh, money for each episode we release will be taken out of your account all at once. I feel that people need to know this. It's it's not going to be come out uh, Tuesdays episode, and Thursdays. Yeah. Uh, it'll be Tuesdays and Thursdays. Those will count, and then at the end of the month, it'll all be taken out at once. So if you if if it's a dollar, uh, two episodes a week, so two, four, six, eight dollars a month is what you'll end up being charged at the end of the month, and that makes a big difference to us. It doesn't sound like a lot of money. But it really does make a big difference because not only is it helping us further our goals, it's also making us feel like people care and people are watching and that we're, what we're doing is 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 being watched. And I mean, that's all I want. I don't I don't want you to like it or not like it. I just want you to watch it. So uh, help us out with that. You can also uh, still go to our GoFundMe if you'd rather help out. All at once, it's uh, GoFundMe.com slash Hometown East TN. If you're watching this in the archive, it'll be right here on the on the screen. Uh, donate whatever you can. Uh, all of that money still is going to buy us more equipment. Uh, it's been amazing what the generosity of folks watching have given us so far. I can't thank you all enough. The, the cameras, uh, all of the accessories and stuff we owe it all to you for getting the ball rolling and and helping literally kick us off uh in a whole new direction and i think we're we're still getting the hang of it we still need a little bit more equipment to do it big and do it right but uh, we're getting there and we need your help it, it's possible we can plateau it could happen i don't think that's gonna happen that's when my ideas get bigger <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Holographic projector. That's the next <laughs> step. We've got some uh in the next episode talking about uh things I got planned. We're gonna talk about who else is coming up uh on the show who we're gonna be interviewing. We'll talk a little about the interview that we currently have in the can and has been released. 